is this is the screen still sharing do you want to see how to export yeah yeah it's still sharing you can see so from capture one i go to file export so you have two options here you have originals and you have variant original is one of my favorite too what that means is that capture one is able to save this image with the exact color grade so you can come back to this image five years down the line in case you forgot how you graded the image and import the original and it would import with the color grade should i repeat that i go there sir you got yes, that sir. Right? Please, repeat, please repeat sir please repeat repeat it sir if i export this image as original it is exported with every work that i have done on this image is stored it will save it so when i need to come back to this image for any future purpose when i put it back in capture one capture one would read this image like this and not like a raw file it will read it with this exact color grade okay so i do this with my weddings there's something we call so we save our weddings in three ways we have a folder called all files and all files is where we keep all the thousands of pictures that we shot at that wedding they are not necessarily going to be in the album, but all files are like low quality JPEGs that we would put in a folder. Then we have a folder called edited. Edited is where we would save all the pictures that we are going to edit either in Photoshop or have been edited in Capture One and the pictures that are going to go into the album. And then lastly, we call another folder selected raw. The selected raw are the selected images from the edited so if i have 300 edited pictures that are going into that wedding album then what that means is that my selected draw would also be 300. so that selected draw is what is going to contain all the work that we did in the raw file so it is able to preserve the identity of the raw file with all the color grade that we did on that raw file so you see all this work that we've been doing since morning contrast exposure red this it will save all of it on every single raw file should in case you feel like oh i posted this picture and now that i'm seeing the picture it has a lot of red let me see if i can bring back the raw and re-edit it but i like the fact that the background was blue but i don't want to have to start afresh you can bring the selected raw put it in capture one and it will you know appear exactly like this okay so um is there any question before we move to this photoshop because this photoshop is looking long like people don't want us to go there so are you done with your export settings i haven't so i'm about to do that okay so export go to file export i will choose variant variant is something that is not raw so it gives me a different format there is tiff there is jpeg quick proof which is like low quality jpeg there is high quality jpeg there is jpeg xr i ignore all of this the only ones i use are tiff quick proof and jpeg now if i exported this image as tiff which is what i am going to do it is because i still want to do some work in photoshop now tiff is going to be able to retain a lot of the information on this image, especially if it's a fine art image, because in Photoshop, I might decide to do some expansion, I might decide to liquefy, I might decide to do X, Y, Z, do you understand? So I want to be able to work with a large file and not maybe a JPEG format that is small. So because I am working on this portrait, I would export it as TIFF. I could create a folder and send all the images that I want to work on, or I could just work on only this one and export this one to desktop. So now that I've clicked on export, it's giving me this notification that export has been completed. And then what I need to do is just to come to my desktop and find the image. And this is the image. I carry the image and put in Photoshop and then this is what i have in photoshop okay 
Is there any question on that before I continue? Was that self-explanatory? Okay, Henry, please, I want, I want to say something here again. Okay. Here. So okay. to take advantage of your, uh, your full performance of your Photoshop, you have to close your Capture One because sometimes Photoshop slows down the machine. So after export uh, from Capture One, you'd want to close Capture One so your Photoshop can run smoothly. Oh, you see, I, I never knew that. Thank you. So let me just close my, my Capture One now. 